Users new to Visualize can use the integrated Easy Mode, which offers a minimalist UI with only the viewport and steps listed across the bottom to direct you through creating a render. This simple UI has five steps. Step one is Import, where you choose the model to make a render of. Step two, Paint, allows the user to add realism to the model with appearances. Step three, Scene, is where you set up the lighting and background through the use of environments and backplates. Step four, camera, is where you adjust the brightness and perspective of the camera, as well as apply filters. With those four steps done, everything is ready to be output. The camera position can be changed at any time, but doing it after the scene and appearances are added will make it easier to get an idea of the final look. With everything done, the final step, render, is where you select a render profile and create an output. In this lesson, I'll walk through each of these steps to show how quick and easy it can be to set up a render. When you first start a project, a model with flat appearances like this and the full UI will greet you. Going from this to a photorealistic render with these options can be overwhelming the first time you see it. To ease this feeling, Visualize has the option to switch to a minimalist UI with five steps to walk you through the first few projects, called Easy Mode. I'll switch to the Easy Mode interface by pressing the spacebar and the UI now only shows the viewport and five steps. Following the steps in order will let me quickly and confidently set up a render. I'll get started by clicking step one, import. A browser appears, which I can use to find and open any of the 22 file types Visualize supports. Since this project already has a model, however, I'll click cancel. Step two is paint. And when I click it, the appearances panel comes up. From here, I can find all of the appearances loaded into the project, which I can add with a simple drag and drop. To load more appearances into the project, I can switch to the local appearances library with this toggle. And once there, I can access the full online Visualize Cloud library. I'll go back to the local library and add Cherry Metallic. Transparent glass, and chrome appearances to the model. Since the chrome needs to be added to multiple parts, instead of dragging it onto each part, I can use special copy and paste shortcuts to speed up the process. I'll hold Shift, then left click on the appearance in the viewport to copy it, then hold Shift and right click on another part to paste the appearance. Once all the appearances are applied, I'll close the Appearances panel. I can still update appearances by selecting them, right-clicking, and selecting Appearances Properties. I'll change the clear coat to 20 and close the window. I'll go to Step 3, Scene, and bring up the Scene panel. Like with the Appearances panel, I can drag environments into a scene to load them as well as access the local and cloud libraries from toggles. I'll drag over the warehouse environment, then switch to the classic photo studio environment, and close the scene panel. As with the appearances properties, I can right mouse click in the viewport on the environment, choose environment properties, and can easily adjust the environment settings. The last step before rendering is camera, so I'll click on it to bring up the camera panel. From here, I can adjust the brightness and perspective as well as apply filters. These filters add a variety of effects to a render. And notice when I apply the boost filter, it outlines in yellow to show it's active. I'll close the camera panel and I'm ready to kick off the render. Instead of clicking on it immediately, I'll hover over the step to view my options. I can either left-click to start the render immediately, 
or right click to select a profile. I want to pick a profile first, so I'll right click to bring up the Render Profiles panel. I can sort the profiles by mode, type, format, size, and number of passes. And once selected, I can start the render by simply clicking Render. If I had left clicked on the step, the render would be created with the last profile used. I'll select Normal and click Render. which opens the render in a new tab. Once started, I can see the time remaining and a progress bar at the top. Options to pause, cancel, or fit the render to screen on the right. And the selected resolution and current pass count across the bottom. Once the render is complete, I can follow the link at the bottom to bring up an Explorer window where I can open the finished render.